So this tutorial will talk to us briefly about how to understand and use the three basic programming constructs used to control the flow of a program. So sequence is basically the order in which you run your program. So if I have name equals input, what is your name? And age equals input, what is your age? you'll see that that will run and then the second line. It's basically getting students to understand the order in which we code. So I run that, you'll see name appears first, then age, and then I can say print name, print age. And you should see these lines of code continue in this order. So if I press F5 and say that, you can see it asks me what is your name, what's your age, and then it prints that out. So that's the order that's been done in. The next thing that we're going to look at is conditionals. So this is, if this piece of code happens, do this. So it's pretty much selection. So if I just show you an example here of question equals input, ask me and I will help out. Okay, so that's our input that's stored in the question. And what I'm going to do is, in fact, I'm going to change this. Uh, what is, is Mr. Chambers' favorite color? And I'm going to say color equals Sorry. Now I need to check the answer. So I can say if question equals red. Don't forget the syntax on the end. Print. That is a nice color. Now you can either finish it there and have you can either finish it there like that. So I'm going to hashtag this out now as I test this. So let me close this. All right, I can either finish that there like that, or you can actually add in something called L if question equals blue. And then I can do an else. Okay. Uh, error because I left off a speech mark. Let's run that again. And what I can do is run that one more time. And remember in the previous video, if you watched that, I said there were certain conditional operators we could use when we're working with numbers, such as greater than, greater than or, or equal. Obviously, I'll delete these out in a minute. Less than, less than or equal to. equal to and not equal operators that we can use. Now the next thing that we come to is iteration, okay, and that's particularly if you want to step through a list. So we've looked briefly at how to do if conditions, but you may want to go through a list. So I'm going to give you an example here of using iteration. So I've got my sentence here equals here is my sentence how many A's are there in it. Alright, so that's my sentence. Let's uh, move this down a little bit. 
Now, I may want to actually go through this, and I'm going to sort of A's as zero to begin with, all right? But then we can use something called a for loop. So I'm going to say for letter in sentence if letter equals A, then then number A plus equals one. Now what that's done there is it's going through each letter in that sentence, all right, and it's going to print the number of A's in the sentence is number. So let's run that. So now if I press F5, so I'm going to just comment out our previous code. So if I press F5, number A's in the sentence is free. So let's fix that. <laughs> sentence is free. But you can also do for loops for other objects. So I might want to count the number of items in a list. And I will do a tutorial on how to do that later on. But the idea of a for loop is that it keeps going through. So for here you can see for each letter, so I'm going to continue my loop. Into now I'm going to show you in video tutorial 3 how to use a for loop within lists. But I hope that's been a basic intro introduction that can help you.